The scarlet macaw is a large bird about 35 inches long and can be found in the tropical rainforests of Peru. Their feathers are bright red with touches of yellow, orange, and blue. They have a curved bill and can fly at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. Here's what our macaw uses. We're gonna start out with some plastic lacing in any color. We have glitter markers and paint in red, blue, green, yellow, and black. We have our thick glue, our styrofoam ball, and a styrofoam egg. All of the sizes are on our website. Red feathers, wiggly eyes, plaster cloth, and then some basics. We have a, a paper towel tube, scissors, toothpick, rubber band, skewer, pencil, and some brushes. You always wanna have those on hand. So let's get started. Now the first thing is, is we wanna create our bird. So I've rubber banded this just to make it easy so you can see. I've put the head onto the egg. I'm gonna add a dab of glue in between. And then I'm gonna add a toothpick as well just to make sure that this piece is really secure. The next thing I wanna do is take my pencil and I'm gonna make two holes all the way through just next to each other, if you can see that right there. And then I'm going to thread my yellow, I'm gonna use yellow cord or plastic lacing through and just get through that the other side. And then we're just gonna knot it up at the top and that's gonna be our hanger. Okay, now we're gonna start with our plaster cloth. If you look here at our diagram, this will be on the website and it has all the pieces and parts. So I'm going to cut some plaster in about four inch squares and then cut those all into four sections so that I have all these triangles to work with. Now, plaster cloth, um, you need some warm water and I'm going to use it in triangles and I'm going to apply it over the body and the head. I'm gonna continue going all the way around, keep smoothing that with my hands. This is a little bit messy, so make sure you've covered your work surface. I've got wax paper in mine, and I'm gonna go all over the body and all over the head, okay? When I'm done, it's gonna look like this. Now, this takes a long time to dry, and you're gonna want, it to let, want to let it really dry very securely. Now, the next thing you wanna do is take your plaster cloth, and you're gonna cut three wings. The pattern's on the website. Three wings for one side, three wings for the other, three of the tails, and a strip about one by three inches. Then we're going to apply our wings, but to apply the wings, what you need to do is you wanna put it upside down. I know it sounds funny to do it, so I, that's where I'm using my paper towel tube to keep it secure so I can use it. Then I'm gonna dip all three wings together, and I want the, the edges to hang the uh, curly edges to hang down. So it'll kind of look like that. And I'm not going to have it go tightly to the actual body. Put one on this side, one on this side, and then take my three tail pieces, again, hanging it upside down so that the tail faces down. And I'm going to glue those on the back. Now, while your plaster is still wet too, you're going to poke a hole in the back so that you'll have a place to attach the feathers. I'm gonna set that aside. And I have a little one. We have a baby bird here. The other thing we wanna do is to do his beak. And his beak is done by taking a triangle, pinching it, doing three layers and attaching it to the front, and then squishing up another piece and doing a little ball underneath. And that'll give that really distinctive beak that the macaw has. So I've got one here and now we're ready to paint. Remember this has to dry overnight so that it's totally dry. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, dip it into my red paint, and I'm going to paint the entire body. Now, as we said, the scarlet macaw is primarily red, but then he has touches of blue, yellow, and green on his feathers. So I'm gonna paint the base of his feather. And I'm not gonna have time to paint the whole thing on camera for you, but let's take, let's do some of his wings. So I'm gonna do a strip of yellow. And don't worry about painting too neatly because I'm gonna put another coat on top of this as well. And then let's go into our blue and that'll be his wingtips
and let's pick that up a little bit. And then we're going to do blue on his tail as well. That'll be nice and stiff. Um, the plaster cloth is really, really easy to paint because it makes a really stiff, it's almost like the same thing that you would have a cast made out of. So you kind of get the idea, and if we hold this next to our sample here, we're also going to paint his, the bottom of his beak black, the top white, that little peach piece white as well. And the last step is to add our embellishments and our glitter. So let me set him aside. And I have one here that's all painted, halfway done. If you can look, he looks just like our drawing. And I'm going to add some blue glitter on top of my blue. And I can use a paintbrush if I'd like to spread that out. Add gold on top of the gold. And a little zigzag of green for those extra green feathers in between. Finally, I'm going to take a paintbrush and add red glitter on top of the other surface as well. I'm going to just use my same brush so you can get an idea of how that looks. And don't forget, then add a wiggly eye here. Remember, you poke that hole in the bottom here so you'll add some red feathers. And let's take a look at our finished macaw. Isn't he beautiful?